hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome for the first time we do have a few new subscribers my name is Marnice Nicole and I'm an acrylic painter and today's going to be an art haul video combination of mostly Christmas presents that I just got recently um, via a gift card and um, the holidays are over and the new year is coming so over the next week or two, expect some end of the year wrap ups, an artist check in, some goal videos, you know, just concluding 2017 because it has definitely been a whirlwind art journey for myself. I, I did a lot of things this year that I'm very proud of and I've expanded so much in my art journey and I love being able to document that, that sort of thing. But today is not about that. Today is an art video. And this video originally would have been going up on Tuesday, but first it was um, a death of a friend and it was, you know, kind of a hard thing during that time, but I didn't really feel like posting. And then it was Christmas and I had a scheduled video with my good friend, Kira Canvas. She is a marker illustrator. She does amazing art both here and on Instagram. I'm linking her below. If you haven't checked out the video, definitely click the link below. It's a great collab that we did for a holiday marker themed fun video, kissing under the mistletoe and go check it out <laughs> if you like that sort of thing. The reason why I met Kara virtually um, is because I liked her art and I came across one of her videos and I just let her know like, I love your art. I would love to do a collab with you. I would love to talk with you about your style and your strategy and everything like that because you know, that's all it takes to start a conversation about art is to enjoy it, appreciate it, and then say so. Um, so new artists, you go do that. Reach out to your favorite artists. See if they're willing to collaborate with you. Do a video, do a two-part sketch, anything. You know, reach out to other artists because the worst thing they can say is no. But still talking too much, I'm gonna jump into the art. And so the first thing I got was actually an early gift for Christmas. Uh, my grandmother, she got this for me and she just, she supports my art journey. She loves what I do and I love that she loves it. <laughs> and um, she asked me if I'd ever use acrylic gouache before and I was like, no, but you know, why not? And so she got this for me. It's the Windsor and Newton uh, designer gouache set. It's the primary color set, six tubes. And we have primary colors, of course, white, yellow, red, blue, green, and black. And comes in this little box. I've already been well into use. And I'll insert just some uh, photos of some things I've done. I'm not the best by any means, but set comes like this. And yeah, so I've tried acrylic wash. This is something I just did with it for holiday inspired art because I was just, I was feeling it. And I do like that you can get quick studies and quick um, things set up. And the paint never goes bad because you can always I'll re-wet it and then you still have those same colors and everything like that. So that's the acrylic wash I've been working on. Okay, so next I did get a gift card for Christmas. And of course, I'm spending a gift card on art supplies. Just, there was no questions asked. It used to be a time where I would spend them on books, but nope. <laughs> I buy my own books now, but a gift card, I'm gonna get art supplies. And so I went to Jerry Artaramas and I picked up a few things. Firstly, um, this is a brush and it is a Princeton Velvet Tut Round Brush. This is a brush that I got with my art snacks box. I love art snacks. I get them a lot. I get things that I would never pick up anywhere. And so um, I just, I love and support their brand. I have their subscription. I've had it for over a year now. So this came in, in the last art snacks and I absolutely love this brush. First of all, I love how it feels. It's short handle. So um, I, I think I prefer them. I don't really know. I have long and short, but I, I kind of always reach for this. I like how it's shaped, and I just like that this wood is so smooth. It's velvet. That's what it feels like. It's it's beautiful, and it's just my favorite brush. I use it for everything right now. And so I immediately went to pick up two other brushes: the number 10 round and the number 10 flat. So I have those two, and I'm gonna slowly build my collection. I really like this brush. I love Princeton as a company. I think they pulled up amazing quality um, 
uh, you know, brushes and so I got that. I did get some heavy bodies from two different brands. So starting off with Liquitex, I got um, a two fluid ounce in Viridian Hue, which I love that color. That's amazing. It's so very pop and you can't mix that. I don't care what anyone says. You cannot mix that color. And next I re-upped on this and it's light blue permanent um, I have this tube already but I was running low and I like to use it a lot for my ocean pieces so I have this then I switched over to golden acrylics another favorite brand of mine I'm down on dioxide purple so I picked that up this is the series six two fluid ounces and then I also got a fun color I really like this it's light magenta and if you can see that there it's just a really light pink but I don't have anything like this in my collection and I find it hard to mix pink I, I don't know what it is but it just it's never a true pink to me and so I would prefer instead of spending hours trying to mix the perfect color I would just prefer to just you know buy it out of the tube still with golden acrylics I also grabbed a fluid acrylic in carbon black and the reason I did this is um, one I like to line my pieces I like bold outlining I don't know why but it's part of my style I also picked up some soft bodies now I have not tried for some reason the soft body line at Liquitex so I've tried the basics line which is the student affordable brand of acrylic paints and I've tried the heavy body but the soft body I haven't tried that and so I have the Liquitex Concentrated Acrylic Artist Color. And this is in fluorescent red. Now that color is just beautiful. And I can just see just adding a touch of this in a few places will just make it pop, pop, pop on the canvas. And I'm really looking forward to using this. Especially, I got this for my uh, Plus Love series. So there's, this is a series that I haven't actually worked on in a while. I did two pieces, plus love and plus heart. And you can see them right there. You see kind of the bold feel of those pieces. They're fun, they're energetic, and I feel like this is the main color of the next piece. And plus fire is kind of the name I'm working on before I even pick up a brush and paint anything but this color just immediately just jumped at me and you know my style is very bold um, I like bold strokes I like bold colors it's just a part of my story as an artist and so this fits right in um, I also picked up the soft body light blue velvet it's just an interesting shade of blue and I don't know if this is particularly picking up on camera but it's just a nice soft blue and it's just something that just called to me I'm a very visual person and and I I like to pick things without a plan just on a whim so I kind of you know I kind of just did that and finally from my haul in store I got an acrylic ink and this is because I have a bunch of inks uh, collected from from various places, Amazon, Cherries, my art snacks. Um, but I didn't actually have a green ink. And so I had a tinted Inktober and I, I noticed like I don't have green ink. Um, that's weird. Like I, I kind of need green ink. And so I picked up a Dr. PH Martin's ice green and it's called 50D. It's a radiant concentration. And I'm looking at this now and it says radiant concentration watercolor <laughs> I thought this was acrylic ink oh no ah oh, well here it is <laughs> oh, maybe I could use it like an, an ink oh that's so I'm so special why did I do that I, I think this it was in the ink section like why I don't know anyway this is what I got <laughs> thinking it was something completely different and I wanted to pick up Dr. PH Martins because I'd never tried anything from this brand go figure um, I've had something from Amsterdam from um, Liquitex their inks you know I have had a few brands out there but I hadn't tried this and I heard it was really good but um, I got 
I got watercolor, great. We're gonna move along because, you know, life happens. I have green, that's what's important. The last two things I wanted to share are two books that I got. Art books are expensive. I don't know if you know. The first one is not really an art, art book, but um, it's for me. Um, I want to build on concepts and I have this forest series that I've been working on and I'm like in trance with like, I don't know, grass. <laughs> it sounds stupid, but like landscapes and forces and it's crazy that that's what I want to paint because I'm a city girl I've never been to the forest I didn't want to go to the forest at all and no <laughs> no I, I don't want to be in these places but I find them intriguing and I feel like a forest is more a representational of like a vast place of unknown adventures of unknown like stories like you never start a fairy tale in the city you start on the edge of the forest going through the forest on a dark trail there's a lantern involved there's there's something about a forest that you know whatever I paint them in the series and I'm intrigued by them and they inspire me and I also um, if you didn't know I want to learn French because <laughs> I want to go there for my 30th birthday I have three well, four years now to plan out this epic French month-long vacation um, for my 30th birthday and I'm 26, I need to kind of get that happening, um, but I'm learning French slowly, very slowly, um, and I'm just intrigued with their landscapes and their, oh, their chateaus are so beautiful and anyway. And it is the best loved villages of France and so it's photography um, of all of these French villages and like when you live in France and not in a city not in Paris when you live in France it's so close to nature your homes your villages everything the townships they are in trance and they're so close to nature and and their villages are lovely and it's these lovely cottages and chateaus and and epic castles um, that you wouldn't think of um, being well actually it's Paris and it's France so yeah you kind of think of that when you think of France but you wouldn't imagine it here and I live in America and I'm in Connecticut and New England you wouldn't think of this here but they have it there and I, I I'm going to use this for inspiration that's 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 the point <laughs> I know I talk a lot I'm sorry I'm gonna move on to the last item she got me and that was mastering composition techniques and principles dramatically improve your painting this is by Ian Roberts and it's it's a book on composition which I'm trying to work I focus mostly this year on sketching and improving figure drawing and that sort of thing but now I think the goal for the, this 2018 will be um, building on my concepts and so um, that is my haul <laughs> and it's a small haul but you know I talk a lot so I'm I'm sorry but thank you so much if you're here to the end um, we'll be starting again the new year with a few goal videos um, wrapping up this year with a few um, artist check-ins and meet the artist diaries and everything like that so thank you so much for watching again my name is Marnie's Nicole if you like this video and want to see a few more art hauls I'll go ahead and link the playlist right here and if you just want to stay tuned for those upcoming videos go ahead and subscribe you can click right here and I will be back very shortly have a good one bye